Hey everyone, my name is Joel. I'm the owner here of HM Precision Painting, as you can see there. And, uh, you know, just wanted to make a video today and actually just walk you through my progress so far, you know, my second year in the painting business. You know, I've seen a lot of lawn care guys, you know, they have their vlogs, they have, uh, you know, how to start a painting business with no money, broke, young, and dumb, right? And, uh, you know, the main reason I want to make this channel now is just to document my own progress, you know, as I'm growing this business, you know, being young here, 19 years old, um, you know, graduated high school last year, and this is my second year in business year two. And, uh, you know, last year we did good, we did okay. You know, I was doing some marketing there, just going door to door, shoot, while I was in, you know, senior year, second semester, going door to door. So my first job there, um, second semester, like in, what was it like April and uh, just knocking doors really you know no money nobody knew me just uh, you know followed what uh, the painting business pro course what he has outlined there and of course you know my dad as well you know he helped me out actually if you can see here we we're in a new construction house um, and so my dad really has helped me out you know when it comes to you know uh, advice as far as estimating, uh, advice on paint, you know, like uh, the materials and everything, the processes. So he shortcut everything for me on that. But really when it comes to the repaint side, then, uh, you know, he really hasn't, he doesn't know much. You know, he, he comes from Mexico, so he doesn't speak much English. So he doesn't know, you know, the technology. He doesn't know marketing, lead services, sales, um, and, and a lot of that stuff. So, and dealing with clients as well, he doesn't really deal with that. So, um, you know, the repaint side, it's been, you know, 90% me, 10% him. And then as far as the new construction side, um, as you can see here, we did this whole house interior here. As far as the new construction side goes, um, yeah, yeah I mean, it's, it's 80% him, 10%, uh, 20% me. So, uh, you know, he really does help me out a lot in the new construction. And so how we got into the new construction is, you know, he's a famous guy. He's, he's one of the best painters here in Kansas City. Um, you know, he produces excellent work to what anybody else. And I'm not even saying this to brag. I'm really saying this because we've gone to other houses here. The builder that we work for is one of the most, uh, you know, he, he does a lot of work. Don't want to say the name just in case, but um, he does a lot of work here in uh, the the. the the, what's it called? The Liberty, the Parkville area here in Missouri, uh, Kansas City, of course, Olathe, uh, Overland Park, I guess. I'm not sure exactly down south. But um, anyways, yeah, my dad was just, you know, he's a famous guy. So, um, you know, he we got him right, in, right away into new construction after he quit his old boss. Um, his old boss, that guy was making a couple million a year. Or his business was doing a couple million a, a year. Um, and he quit just because of the stress and he thought he would start his own thing and he dragged me into it You know, I was planning to play uh, college soccer, but due to uh, of course, you know a knee injury um, Not ACL though MCO So, you know, I couldn't play college and uh, that was really that, that was my dreams there, you know pro hopefully but Yeah, it, you know life life takes you different directions. So now I'm going all in this is my new sport the growing this business now has become my new sport and uh, really just that fire I had for soccer has now translated over to growing this business and making this, you know, the biggest painting company here in Kansas City. Hopefully, you know, that's my goal. Um, you know, whether I achieve it or not, we'll be seeing the progress here as the years go on. But that's just kind of my story, my background here. And uh, right now we're doing new construction. But really what the most important thing is for, you know, if you're looking to start a painting business would be repaints. I mean, just focus on that because new construction, I'll just walk you through this house here. It, it's crazy. I mean, there is profit if you sub it, if you use subs for everything, don't use employees, by the way. Um, but even if, even if, you know, the builder pays you good, there's going to be a lot of phone calls, a lot of problems, touch-ups, coming back, going out. They call you, they got to fix this. The homeowners, you know, there's some crazy homeowners starting to mark everything up. There's a lot of headaches here in new construction, um, but I mean, you make 10% profit. That's what I've seen so far with the average here in Kansas City. So, um, 
and then if you go to repaint, you make 50% in like three days and you literally make what you make in like half of what you made here in like a week or two weeks. So, uh, or 75% of what you made on a new house, you make it on a repaint in three days with less stress, not coming back and you're growing your brand with the homeowner and the homeowner's happy. Here in new construction, the homeowner's not happy, you come back, you fix it up, they do a final walk around, you have to come back again and you know headaches and, and you know maybe there's a leak and then we have to come back and then touch up so there's a lot of the headaches but it is rewarding you know that's how we grew our business so fast just because you know my dad in new construction and then we did the repaint side but that's just my background there um, in case you were interested if not you can skip to this point in the video all right so now if you skip to this point in the video i'll get into you know how do you actually start a, a painting business right when you're broke you're young you're, or you're dumb or you're, you're both, you know, or uh, you're all of them at the same time. So, I mean, the main thing you got to do first is, I mean, you want to start an LLC. That'd be the best thing. But come on, let's face it. I mean, if, if you were, you know, me, 18 years old and no money, you know, you're coming out of high school, then what I would do, honestly, is just knock doors. I would invest, you know, a couple, some money in making flyers. Just, you know, making some flyers, knocking on doors, taking your clipboard, um, a nice collared shirt if you have a, a polo shirt, some khakis or, a, you know, some black pants and then just a polo shirt, gray polo shirt and just go knocking doors, you know, saying, hey, how's it going? You know, I'm Joel with HM Precision Painting. Um, I noticed you had some peeling here on your house, so I just wanted to give you a free estimate and uh, you hand them a flyer. And if they say yes, well, you know, you, you can set up an estimate. Uh, set up a time just go over you know what they're looking to get done if, if they spotted any problem areas around the home and I'll get into more of that in, in another video and uh, you get their info do that estimate and you know hopefully you sell the job um, and that's really how you start from no money and now if they ask you for insurance they ask you uh, how many years you have in business you can just be flat honest with them I mean you know I, I know that at my age I was kind of thinking, ah, oh, what if they think I'm young? You know, I'm just, I'm just gonna rip them off or something. Uh, but really, the only person that really cares about your age is you. You know, you're the only person that limits yourself. So you just gotta be honest. I mean, you know, honestly, I'm just starting this business. You know, um, you know, I can do a good job. I'm gonna take care of you day or night. You have my personal cell phone number. And at this point, you probably don't have a business line or business phone number. So just be like, you have my personal phone number. And, you know, I promise I'll do a great job. You know, I'll take care of you more than anybody else will. And, uh, you know, I'll come back and fix anything. If there's anything that needs to be touched up here in the next two years, I'll warranty our work. And, uh, you know, just give us a shot. And then if they say yes, you know, great. If not, just go keep knocking doors. You know, look for high-end neighborhoods and uh, just get your name out there, really. That's the, that was the goal of door to door, and that's still my goal this year. Just knocking doors. I'm still knocking doors. I mean, we don't have a big business here. Um, even though we're doing big numbers, it's just because of new construction. We only did like 180 and uh, 180,000 in repaint sales. So, you know, not too much of a big business on the repaint side, but just really, it's about a, the first goal of door to door is to get your name out there. And so, just you know, just get your name out there, and. Uh, just knock doors. That's how you start a business. And then afterwards, you can go into lead services and everything. And then, um, but first, you got to make your first money to get that first job, right? First job, the door to door. Once you get your money for the door to door, then, then with that profit that you made, you go and then you can register your business or two, you can, uh, you know, invest into lead services. But lead services are, are kind of tricky because you need to have a good sales process, which again, I'll get into another video. But uh, yeah, I mean, just knocking doors. Knocking doors is the number one lead source and the best lead source because you don't have zero competition. It's only you unless they call somebody else, which they'll only call like one or, or two guys. I'm, I'm like home advisor or anything like that. Just send it to five guys. So um, really, that's how it is. You know, uh, just got to get your name out there. Get your name up there with, you know, passing out flyers, going door to door. Um, so I'll walk you through this house here that we did. Uh, you can see new construction area. All the houses there. Nice truck there. 2019 GMC. 
Uh, yeah, we got that last year. You know, because we, we, we do make enough profit. Because remember, new construction is volume first. And, uh, and you know, just got to do a lot of volume. And so we were able to afford that 2019 GMC. I'll take you there. Yeah. I mean, we can afford a... You know, once once you have make enough profit and you know your numbers, then you can afford to you know, invest your money into some assets like this. But, no, nah, just kidding. Not an asset, but... Um, but, yeah, no, it, I mean, we use it for work. I have my little Ranger, you know, my little Ford Ranger. Um, it was a nice little truck, but... You know, I have to do sales and everything, type up estimates sometimes or, uh, you know, do a lot of social media. And so that truck really more comfortable for all that. But, yeah, this is the house here that we got on the exterior. And, uh, yeah, that's just a brief overview of my story. Um, you know, I'll be doing more painting blogs now, how to start your business. And then you'll be seeing me grow my own business here. So it's just, you're just going to see our process here. And uh, you just subscribe for more videos here. Like the video, please. Um, comment any questions that you have here I know you know there might be some painters looking at this I'm not a painter you know I'll be I'll be straight honest with you I'm not a painter my dad is a painter he's a professional painter but I'm not you know I'll, I'm here to make money be profitable you know there's people that are gonna be more qualified you know have the have the business degree the MBA there can be people who have um, you know 30 years in the painting business but it's not about that. It's about taking action, knocking doors. Because when it's when it's time to uh, knock that door, you know, painters with 30 years, they really won't, you know, they won't even knock that door because they're scared. So all you gotta do is knock that door, and uh, you, know, you gotta get this money. So, you know, stay tuned and subscribe for more videos, and I'll see you in the next one.